second part. Uh, in 2008, the United States Supreme Court determined that the uh, right to keep their arms was an individual right, and that the militia was not the individual, uh, was not the National Guard, but the people themselves. Uh, Article 1, Section 15 of the State Constitution says that every Connecticut citizen has the right to bear arms and defend himself in his state. In 1993, the State Supreme Court ruled that the State Constitution didn't supersede the federal, but added to it. Every elected official takes an oath to uphold both constitutions. How can an elected official uphold something they are working against? Well, I'm not working against uh, recognizing people's constitutional rights. I absolutely support people's constitutional rights, uh, 100%. Uh, the Second Amendment? Uh, yes, absolutely. I support the Second Amendment. It may not be your interpretation of the Second Amendment, but it is one that is consistent with the court rulings. Um, so I think it, I think what you want to talk about is uh, gun legislation. Um, and I think that if you poll, in fact, I know, if you poll Connecticut citizens or American citizens, um, uh, they believe that, that uh, gun purchases should be subject to background checks. Um, in fact, I'll point this out. You, know, you can't get a driver's license uh, uh, without, a, without a test and without a background check. You can't get on a, an, air, uh, an airplane to fly anywhere in the country. Uh, although we're a free country and our rights are protected by the Constitution, you can't get on an airplane without a background check. The idea that we would sell weapons in Connecticut or in any state without a background check doesn't make, doesn't make sense to people living in Connecticut. Um, and uh, uh, if you want to debate certain types of weapons, and that may be what you want to debate, uh, the weapons that you're, you would debate about were illegal under federal law, supported by Supreme Court decisions and federal court decisions until 2004. So, so, so from 1993 to 2004, the weapons that you would want to have a constitutional argument about were, in fact, not legally sold anywhere in the United States. Uh, and that went to court many times uh, and never successfully challenged. Um, and uh, so, uh, you know, the, the legislature legislates, the governor has the ability to veto or not veto or sign, uh, and the courts get to decide what is or is not constitutional. That's how the system works.